Now, I'm going to pitch you an idea here. Yeah. WWE, they're into their films. Yep. WWE Studios make films. Yep. Your look is like an incredible superhero. Surely there's a crossover there. You being a new, a new fangled WWE superhero. Absolutely, yeah. I uh, have a couple ideas uh, still up my sleeves. So, um, you know, I have my new T-shirt on sale on uh, you get a look the at that? WWE shop. Uh, and um, have a... Shameless plug. I know, yeah, shameless <laughs> plug. But, you know, you got to get it in there. But, uh, no, yeah, obviously uh, movies would be, you know, ultimate dream. Uh, maybe comic books too. Might get a little uh, Finn Balor comic book going at some stage. But uh, watch this space for the... For that, for that type of stuff. I get because I guess there are so many opportunities with WWE. You know, you, you grew up on the independence, you went to Japan, and and that's all amazing. But I guess this is such a huge entertainment juggernaut. Are you sort of getting used to this new life? Not at all. No, I'm every day I come into work and I'm continuously blown away by the size of the company and how helpful they are and how willing they are, like you know, to meet me, you know, with any ideas that I have. Uh, you know, everything that I'd done before here was literally, you know, on my own back. And, uh, you know, that was all my own ideas with no help from anyone. And I come to WWE and, you know, a lot of people, I'll be honest, said, you know, you shouldn't maybe go there. And I can honestly say that was the greatest decision of my life coming to WWE. Uh, it's an incredible company, uh, incredible, you know, staff and uh, working behind the scenes, helping everyone here and not only myself. And uh, you know, I have a lot to thank, uh, a lot of people to thank, and uh, I don't have time to thank them here in this interview. <laughs> and so why did people say that you maybe shouldn't come here? You know, Were they worried that you weren't going to be used? Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of people said, you know, they might curb, curb your creativity, but in hindsight, you know, it's been the complete opposite. That You know, they've, they've just, you know, gathered it and pushed it forward and lifted it up and, you know, put their little shine on it. And, you know, it's last night's total proof of that, you know. Yeah. Um, when we were in the UK, we um, interviewed Seamus and we actually went to Adrian Neville's mum's house and yeah, yeah, had a, I, I had a cup of tea yeah, with them. Yeah. Um, but they, it, it feels like it's a really emotional thing for those guys going back home. What, what about you in Ireland? What, what do you miss from home? Oh, well, obviously I miss, uh, I miss my family. Um, very close uh, with my parents and my three brothers and sister. Um, oh, it's so a big family. It is, yeah. It's a big, big Irish family. Yeah, my sister actually got married two weeks ago, so I got to got to nip home. Landed on the day of the wedding, went straight to the wedding. But uh, yeah, that was a great day. Yeah, I miss the family, miss miss me old mates that I grew up with. You know, I still have a very close uh, knit bunch of friends. Um, you know, from uh, from the street that I grew up on. So I miss all them. But you know, I'm here with, uh, with one thing in mind, and that's to take over NXT. So you know, these are the sacrifices that have to be made. So if you landed on the day of your sister's wedding, did you make like the big entrance in your full gear? <laughs> yeah, the, the, the smoke came <laughs> up, <laughs> the lights came on. <laughs> Down the aisle. Yeah, she said I do right on cue, it was money. <laughs> that's an exclusive, you marrying your sister. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's brilliant.